Quarter four, the amazing quarter, the quarter that changed my life, the quarter that could change your life. In quarter four, we make money, we solve problems. What's going on guys, this is the Econ Boss and in today's video, I'm coming at you guys with a Q4 strategy on how you can make anywhere from $100,000 to a million, if not even more or if not even less in Q4. So bear with me guys, because this video could absolutely change your whole life. This is a, one of the better Q4 videos, hopefully. I mean, I'm just trying my best, you know, maybe couldn't cover everything, but it's probably going to be a long video. And in my opinion, it is a really valuable video. Now, you yourself have to figure out if I covered everything or not. But I think if you're going to dropship in Q4, you got to watch this video because this is going to be valuable this is going to be super valuable it, like i'm just saying guys if you don't watch this before q4 you're going to get in big trouble this video is going to be about how to make money also mistakes to avoid how you can totally get screwed over and yeah like i said again how to make money it's going to be super super valuable video so we're going to go over everything inside of my computer now in a second so if you guys find later on when you're watching this video just like it i'll be really really happy if you guys smash the like button please just click that like button that's the only thing i want and make sure you subscribe because econ boss want to get 2,000 subscribers I appreciate all of you guys and let's get into the video. So if you want to get into the dropshipping coaching program for Q4 September and upcoming October, how to make a lot of money in Q4, it's been a really big success so far. You can message me on Instagram here. And if you just want to follow me, that's also cool. So should we just get straight into the PowerPoint? Okay, guys, Q4 dropshipping strategy. Well, we should slide over to the next slide and get straight into it. Okay, guys, so let's go over the basics first. What is Q4? That's probably a question some of you guys have, while a lot of you guys already know what it is. Q4 is the last quarter of the year. It's October. October, November, and it's December. That's the three last months of the year, the last quarter. It's where online shopping just increases. It skyrockets and more people are buying, you know, stuff online than actually doing grocery stores. Q4 is just the perfect time for you guys to hit big. This is a golden chance for you to make your first 100K or your first $1 million, if not even more. So that's basically what quarter four is. Like I said, it's the last three months of the year. It's the last quarter, November, December, and October. That was not in the right order, but we don't care about that, right? So let's slide over. So the important days in Q4, it's going to be Black Friday. Black Friday is a super, super important day. There's so much money to be made. I'm going to go over a couple of Black Friday strategies actually later on in this video. But Black Friday is a day where you guys could score super high. There will be Black Friday strategy on this channel a little bit later too. But that's the day where you guys just want to score super high, make a lot of money and have the perfect deals and spend a lot to make a lot. Get your email list ready, you know, stuff like that. Next day is going to be Christmas. Christmas is obviously a little bit of a season. It's a time you should aim towards, but you could, for example, you know, Black Friday could be Christmas gift for other people. I'm just saying Christmas is also something in Q4. Important days too could be Halloween. Halloween is going to be a huge day. It's going to be a lot of money you guys can make on Halloween. I got some tips on that later on as well. And then we got Black Week. Black Week is basically just you trying to sell for even more money by making, you know, Black Friday into a Black Week while waiting for Christmas just to have another sale going or at least pretend it's a sale. So that's also something you guys could do. I've been doing a lot of Black Weeks lately, at least, you know, like the, the, the you know, the past years. Uh, and you could also do Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday is a huge day for you to sell online with discounts, everything. You could have the deal of the hour. So much stuff you guys can do to make a lot of money and convert on that day. And then it's also going to be Cyber Weeks. These are things you guys could do. So for example, from Black Friday to Christmas, you could just do Cyber Week. You could do, you know, Black Week. Just do those weeks until you get into Christmas in order to make some extra money. Always looking like you have a sale. So crushing it in Q4, you need a winner before you enter Q4. Well, I'm going to give you guys until November to find a winner. But I'll recommend the quicker you get a winner now, the easier it's going to be. You don't want to spend your whole quarter four testing products. That's like the worst thing you can do because in quarter four, so much money to be made. So you want to be the guy who's actually scaling his products, trying to make profit, running look like audiences, CBOs, just scaling, making a lot of money. I know, guys, I'm a little bit upbeat here, but I'm just so hyped because I want to bring you guys this value here. But you do not want to be the guy who's just testing the whole Q4. Like the results on testing will be higher. Success rate will increase a little bit when you're testing your product. So it is going to be so it is going to be easier to find a winning product in Q4, but I highly recommend you guys to have a winner already before Q4. So since Q4 is when you make money, like I already said, testing should be done beforehand. But it's it's never wrong to test a product in Q4, but you should probably have another winning product running already, you know. So you could run a winner, but you could also still keep testing on the side to get another winner. But yeah, I'm just saying, you should have a winner in Q4. Saturated products are going to work a little bit better in Q4, just because everyone is in the mood to buy. I tell you guys, everyone is in the mood to buy. My grandma bought a Facebook ad t-shirt saying, I, you can never have enough guitars or something 
for me last year. Fun fact, I never really used it, but everyone is buying. Even my 75 year old grandma is buying. So it's a perfect time. That's why I'm saying like saturated products could work because people that have maybe haven't seen the saturated product before could do it. But my advice will always be don't sell to saturated price. It's really not my style, but I'm just saying you could pull it up. All I'm saying now, guys, is like be on the good side with Facebook. You do not want to have a lot of bands be done with your bands. I'm not saying get banned on purpose, but hopefully you'll be having your bands already. You don't have to stress about being banned every other day. Obviously, you know the Facebook policies. You don't want to run a before and after picture and like beg for being banned. I'm just saying be on the good side with Facebook. Make sure you know what you're doing. And if you got banned, please get banned before Q4. Also, guys, in Q4, make sure that you know your supplier. You want to be in good terms with your supplier. You, you want to make sure he's not ignoring your text and that he doesn't, you know, all of a sudden disappears. So I'm just saying, guys, make sure you know your supplier, get a good deal. Hopefully that person, you know, could figure out a good shipping option for you. So you hopefully could get your shipping fixed out earlier, but you could also just reuse a warehouse. I'm just saying be on good terms with your supplier. Make sure you know who you're dealing with if you're going to drop ship from AliExpress. Private labeling will be gone over later. Private labeling really is the way to go. So private labeling is basically, you know, getting your own logo on a package for example just branding your products in general is a lot to say about it so we're not going to do that right now but i'm just saying guys private labeling dropshipping could really be the way to go to build a huge brand for q4 but if you're going to start branding in november it's going to be really hard to get that brand finished so if you haven't started branding already you got to be on that really really soon or it's going to be too late but you don't have to you don't have to brand to make a lot of money though but i will probably do it so in terms of budgeting when you're testing products this is something we have to talk about so when you you're going to probably test like three to five products a week and hopefully your ratio be like every fifth product you test is a winner that's a really good ratio might probably be like three to four products and if one of them is going to be a winner like i said success rate will be higher in q4 it's going to be a little bit easier to pop a winner but like i said you want to have your winner prepared hopefully set aside 70 dollars per product that means a 24 hour test you're going to run 10 ads you're going to run seven ad sets for 10 dollar a day for 24 hours if it doesn't work you can cut it if there's no sales i would obviously recommend you guys to maybe run it 30 hours some people even say 48 but I don't think 48 really is the way to go. I'm just saying like maybe you run it for, for example, 30 hours. Choose a list of 10 products. Gather a list of a couple of products. Then you got to find your best 10. You could just put up, put it on a Google document or something. Find 10 products, stick to them, set up descriptions, get looks, reviews, whatever. You just do all of that so you could test consistently. Choose yourself 10 products you want to test in Q4 and then stick to it and test those products. One of them will most likely win unless you're really bad at product research. But if you're watching my channel, you're not really bad at product research. Guys, it's time for you to drop a like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Here goes now is to test every other day i mean you could obviously test every day too it's all good but i'm just saying like some of you guys might not have the biggest budget to do that but i'm saying if you just test every other day you should be on pretty good terms i think that's way good enough you'll probably be testing like 15 products a month maybe like 20 products a month too i'm just saying test every other day your goal when testing is to get three sales in one ad set and i'll probably try to get three sales in one ad set after 48 hours for example like i said a 24 hour test but if you get two sales in one ad set probably just let the ad run another day you know to see if you can get your third sale the reason why you want to have three sales in one answers then you can duplicate from ten dollar a day to twenty five dollar a day I also highly recommend you guys to consider credit cards when scaling in Q4 because it's going to cost you guys a lot of money. But like I said, if you have a high ROAS, you're making money of it. It should always be safe to use a credit card. And you could obviously see if you got to, you know, take yourself out of the business. I would just recommend it for scaling to not run into any problems because the thing is you want to gather funds for it and you could use a credit card because you never want to pause a winner in Q4. Pausing a winner is so damaging. You guys don't even know how damaging that is, especially if it's over seven days, but just don't pause a winner. Rather figure out a solution to get the funds. Video ads uh, for most products, I really do recommend recommend you guys to gather video ads for most products i have a link in my description on where to get video ads for 30 dollars this guy's this guy's cool he makes my video ads too. he's a beast at facebook ads in general and making video ads so I'll check out the link in my description and um, so you guys could get even cheaper video ads than you already do uh, but that's something you guys will have to do in quarter four you want to get your video ads ready maybe buy a package of a couple of video ads because you want to test with a, with the best creatives honestly there's no point spending 70 dollars a day on facebook ads if you not want to spend 30 dollars on an ad because you you don't want to spend that money like then you're just wasting 70 dollars because you're not testing with a good creative anyways so what should you focus on in q4 uh spending time on short-term results like for example halloween versus just spending your time on the whole q4 you know the whole quarter because black friday is coming up christmas is coming up and you're really going to spend your time on like you're such a short-term thing is halloween it's halloween sales are not going to last for too too many weeks right so what i would do is like you know the thing is you will burn out quickly if you spend so much time on halloween you gather a winner there's going to be a lot of stress and everything compared to for example just trying to pop a winner and run into whole q4 so just to make some minds clear here instead of just focusing everything you got on halloween and then then be left doing nothing for the rest of the month i would just pass on halloween or at least do it a little bit chiller because then you will have time you know to focus on q4 because you don't want to you know have a halloween store you have a lot of problems with the store whatever afterwards you just want to be focusing on black friday christmas because that's where the most money is made and that's where you could use your one product that you think is cool 
people and just run it so i'm just saying that to clear up the mind here like i would probably just do q4 instead of halloween like i said find your winners before november i would probably do it before october but i'm just saying for you guys you want to have it before november because in q4 you want to scale you don't want to test you just want to produce produce and print money selling price i'll probably sell price for like 20 to 90 dollars i would not do too high of a ticket for q4 because we just want to make the success rate high when testing that's the thing when you're testing a product you want to have a high success rate and the more expensive the product is the more you're going to spend on testing it and the harder it's going to get to for example get three sales and ads well you could obviously sell high ticket of course it's cool to sell high ticket but you guys so now you're watching my channel right i'm not saying there's anything wrong with high ticket at all i'm just saying if you follow what i say i would probably sell this because i've usually seen a way higher success rate on that because then you could you know your, your test would probably be even more successful uh problem solving products is not always the case in quarter four you could also aim for wow factor product that means you know you could aim for for example a viral type of fidget spinner with led lights acts as a boomerang there's so many viral products you guys could you know trying to run in q4 that doesn't have to solve a problem because honestly i feel like people just buy cool stuff for each other and keep in mind if you're buying a gift that could be a gift to someone you don't know so you just buy something you think is cool because you don't know what they're interested in i'm just saying like wow factor products just like viral cool types of products could actually perform way better than just a problem solving product because people are in the mood to just buy something cool a gift for them not to make their life easier necessarily i mean they honestly just want to produce short-term dopamine in their brain just have a good time so that's most likely going to be a wow factor product of course guys you could try problem solver too that's all good i'm just saying like wow factor products are usually really good at q4 they're always good general stores and branding i would brand your stores to one product store most likely or a niche store you could also do a general store what i'm saying is use general stores as lead for testing i always want to test with a general store i would probably stick to a general store throughout the whole q4 because i see a really high conversion in it but just make sure you guys get your branding on point you want to private label your packages if you have the time for it if not just brand in terms of you know a name of your product the logo just the color scheme and everything just trying to make it seem a little bit branded like you actually care about them and maybe that they're buying a story for example not just your seller selling the product um upsells is going to be huge you want to make some extra profits and guys there's so many people going to be on your webpage. so if you use upsells the right way you can make a ton a ton a ton of money i've seen people making two hundred thousand dollars a day just from upsells on like big days so your app for upsells is going to be sipify one click upsell check that out it's the best app ever just like my videos my videos is the best ever that's why you should drop a like and subscribe how to last throughout q4 this is a really 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 important topic that you guys have to watch this topic okay you can leave whenever you want but watch this slide first if you want to last throughout q4 introduce new creatives once a week you could introduce it even more often the thing is you guys might be saying like how why are they gonna buy just because i introduced a new creative it's like when you've seen something so many times over and over again you eventually just gonna end up buying i promise you guys it works like that and the thing is uh, the click through rate on you know your ctr on different creatives could be for example one percent and ten percent so you want to have a high click through rate so guys so that's the reason to why i would probably recommend you guys to gather a lot of creative to see what the click through rate will be to see if like you want to have everything thing in place and you always want to show the customer something new it's like you never leave the customer if, if he doesn't like that you just show him something new and because th this stuff is going to be seen and seen over and over again so it's time for you to always introduce something new because that actually makes you stand out like a brand you don't see you know like a huge huge brand like for example Razer gaming headphones or whatever they don't use the same picture in every ad they upgrade their stuff every time that's why people continue to buy it. so make sure you guys do that with your creatives next thing is going to be gather new facebook interest daily i want to add at least one to three new interests every single day to see how they to see how the interest can perform because keep in mind guys if, for example if you made one sale in the interest netflix and serious sales in other other ones you wouldn't have made that sale if it wasn't for you choosing netflix which means the product is important but if you didn't choose the interest i made a sale you wouldn't make a sale so that's why i'm saying don't pass out an interest you gotta make sure you're adding interest every single day because that interest could actually be that change this thing that changes everything for you because at the end of the day it comes down to the interest you choose right if you have a lot of data however like a huge amount of data like an insane amount of data you could actually run no interest but that's when facebook really knows your audience make multiple products work for you is something i recommend you don't have to do it but i really do recommend it because you never want to rely on one what if that product you know gets sold out everyone starts selling it it goes viral you just lose the chance on it most likely that's not going to happen because you'll be the guys winning with it even though other people are starting to compete with you because you were the first in those interests and everything but i'm just saying guys what are you going to do if you come into november you make so good money everything is going great and then your product gets banned you can never run it again so i'm saying or while while you're in q4 you want to keep on testing products that means like test products but already have a winner because you don't want to rely on just one product because you never know what could go wrong with that product that's why i'm saying always have a new one what's your facebook ads feedback score page to not get banned this is the most important tip of the whole video facebook feedback score is the feedback you get from your customers the thing is facebook will track this thing if you have a low feedback score you guys just you could just google how to check your feedback score on facebook sometimes it's not even possible to check it if it's a new ad account without saying 
keep track of your Facebook feedback score. If not, you're going to get banned for real. So you have to keep that in track and change a couple of settings in your ads manager to fix that stuff. Use different marketing angels. For example, sales, you could use Black Friday, GIF. You could use sales, Black Friday, GIF. You could even play on emotions. You know, you sell something to your girlfriend, you could play on emotion. That's the one thing I'm going to make clear for you guys. So your marketing tactic in October could just basically be nothing. It's just like time to buy stuff. In November, it could be more like, you know, prepare for Christmas. And then in Black Friday, it could be like, enjoy yourself. Now it's time to get a discount. In Christmas, you could play on your, you know, for example, emotions, buying something for your girlfriend, or you could just play on a different marketing strategy. Just make sure you guys always try new different marketing strategies, different ad copies and everything to see how it converts. Make your own trend, guys. Like I said, you could do saturated products successfully in Q4 actually because the market is so huge. I recommend you guys just find something new, find untapped products, scale it like crazy because people won't stand a chance competing with you most likely if you were the first guy on the product. So I just say make your own trend, guys. Don't, don't just jump on saturated products all the time. Always be on Facebook to browse trends to try to catch a trend before it's viral. This is super important. Use, actually, I would recommend using AliExpress too, but use Facebook for product research. This thing is going to be super important because of Facebook, you will see what people are scaling. For example, if someone runs a product and it's reached 300,000 people, he's most likely making money, but it's not viral. So I'm just saying you could definitely utilize Facebook's, you know, feed page just to scroll down and see ads to try to see which product you could jump on and catch the trend early. Um, if you believe in a product and you like, you really, really believe in it, you think it's the best, I would probably not do it. But like, I've seen it work. If you believe in a product, you're just like, this is going to sell no matter what. And it doesn't sell, change out every interest after two days and run it another day. If that doesn't work, pass on the product. Have the best reviews with pictures. You don't want to have only five star reviews, but you want to have four stars and up. Just make sure you guys have the best looks reviews on your page because the reviews are what makes the customer feel safe. It looks like a brand. It just looks way better. And also guys get the currency converter because I recommend you guys to sell worldwide. So make sure you guys got looks reviews and you got good reviews with good pictures and everything. And that you also have the currency converter so people can get it in their own currency. Because in a lot of times there's only like business people that knows other currencies. Uh, there could be other people too, but I'm just saying like, don't argue with it, you know, just get a currency converter. Next slide there is scaling your products. Ad sets that spend over $20 with no sales, they should be cut. So the other thing to keep in mind here is that's if a $10 ad set. If a $10 ad set spends double the budget, you cut it. If it's a $25 ad set and it spends 30, you could cut it. A $50 ad set that spends 60, you can cut it. You just gotta analyze the situation. But I'm just saying, at least if it spends double the budget and there's no sales, or at least maybe not even profitable, I would probably recommend cutting it. Facebook now is vertical. That means increasing budgets. What I'm gonna say now, guys, is if you have an ad set that's made three sales on $10 a day as a daily budget, I would recommend you guys to go from $10 a day to $25 a day. Your goal is to get four or five ad sets to seven sales each so you can make a $200 or $250 CBO with it. That's a really good goal. In a CBO, each ad set equals $50. So if you run a three ad set CBO, that's 50 times three, $150. CBOs is king. CBOs is vertical too. If it does good, double the budget. So that's what I said, guys. Use CBO. It gathers a lot of data because it gathers a lot of sales and it usually is profitable. Don't test with CBO. I know a couple of people, private labeling and everything, testing with CBO, which super huge success. They're, they're doing massive numbers. But I'm just saying, guys, if you use my strategy, you don't test with CBOs. CBOs is like later later in the game for me, but still kind of early. Get as much data as you can for Black Friday. It's important, guys, that Facebook knows your audience for Black Friday. You want to spend a lot of money on Facebook. If you do that as well, you could do no interest targeting, like I said earlier, just because Facebook knows your customer so good. I'm just saying gather data for gather the data for Black Friday. You can run lookalike audiences. You could do everything because Black Friday is a huge day. I will drop a Black Friday strategy a little bit later, but we're in the beginning of September. It's a little bit too early. But I'm just saying gather a lot of data for Black Friday. Really aim for Black Friday, Cyber Week and Christmas. Just aim for those things. Always prepare. Lookalike audiences can be great for this season and they truly can because you could, everyone is buying. Like every single person is almost buying online. So I'm just saying lookalikes is good because the market is super huge. It's just... It, if you target someone who look like, they're most likely gonna buy online. The question is just, are they gonna buy from you? Order new creatives regularly. That comes down to what I said earlier, wanna introduce a new creative every week. Then I mean a lot of creatives, but like find a good creative you wanna use every week. So I probably go to the link in the description again and order new creatives, cause you wanna order creatives on a regular basis. <laughs> who puts a picture of Shrek in the, in the PowerPoint? Uh, scary things to keep in mind, guys. This is gonna be super, super scary things that you guys gotta keep in mind in Q4. Know your supplier, guys. The supplier can screw you guys over like crazy. I promise you guys that because supplier could do so much things. I'm going to name a couple now. Supplier can raise his price drastically for no reason. That's not cool at all. You guys never want to get into that situation. I used to buy a product for $7 and sell it for 21. Supplier instantly overnight increased the product. It's a Shrek on the picture. Supplier instantly increased the price from $7 to $40 and 
I lost a lot of money because I sold so much overnight while he increased the price. So definitely watch the price on the supplier. That's not cool. Like I said, again, watch your Facebook feed by score. Long shipping times, set up quicker shipping times if you are able to do that. But long shipping times could be a problem. It could be charge packs or whatever, but just make sure the product arrives before the date you're actually, you know, trying to get it for. If you're trying to get it for Christmas, make sure it arrives before Christmas. But actually a lot of people don't have a problem if it arrives later. It's just boring, but still it's like, you know, uh, people often say to me like, I got a gift for you, but it's not arriving before two days, even though it's after Christmas. Can you deliver to all countries? That's a question you have to ask yourself. Make sure you know if you can deliver to all countries. It's going to be super important because if not, you will just have to refund them. That's a waste of ad spend for that sale. Uh, get a team, get VAs and everything. Get someone that could, you know, for outsource your orders. You know, you want to get a VA who ships out your orders because you are planning to make a lot of orders. So get a team for that. Get customer support. Like I said, you don't want to not have a customer support. That's super bad. So get a VA for customer support, maybe like a 24 seven support type of thing. Or at least similar like that. Get people to be able to get your tracking numbers and get a VA, like I said, for product shipping and also for customer support. Next one is going to be different strategies you guys could use to win back your customers. First one is going to be retargeting. I usually don't do it, but in Q4, I would highly recommend doing it because you leave so much money on the table in Q4. So definitely be big on trying to launch some retargeting campaigns. I would also do, wait, I would also do email marketing. And I'm sure one of you guys watching right now is going to DM me promoting your email marketing service like some people always do. But be careful about who you do email marketing with. I'm sure some of you guys, if you're into e-commerce on Instagram, has had a lot of email marketing in your DM boxes, and some of them are actually great. So you might as well give them a chance, but I'm just saying, be careful who's your email marketer. Uh, but email marketing is going to be key as well to make your money back. So if you combine that with retargeting, you're going to make a lot of money. A bound car templates, you want to make sure you, for example, like after six hours after a bound car, you send a mail, then 24 hours later, then three days later, just have a bounded car templates that you actually send out. Sales, discount codes, and news. This one you have, this is where you want to have your email list. You could send out all these things to try to get your customers back to you to buy again that's why you want to have an email list to send out discount codes and everything custom audience list is key here to send out offers like i said guys you want to have a custom audience just uploading your uploading other people's emails so you could just spam email them honestly and th this page is get rid of spending limit now you don't want to go into q4 with a 50 dollars spending limit it's the worst never do it be super super careful about that so you want to spend at least 1k a day when profiting and this is guys you know i know this might sound scary it's just like oh this is only for people with big, big budget that i'm saying when you're profitable you want to get to a point where you can spend a k a day i would probably spend way more than that way way more maybe like twenty thousand for black friday a day or something but i'm just saying guys make sure you're able to spend 1k a day when you're profiting because if you're profiting it's usually safe to do it right and guys please drop a like and subscribe though but facebook will allow you to spend 5k a day i'm not even joking with you guys but you got to contact Facebook if you want to increase. So you can maybe spend 5K a day, at least in some scenarios, unless you have, you know, a spending limit. But if you want to increase your spending limit for 5K a day to even more, which I would recommend doing for Black Friday, you will have to get in touch with Facebook to, you know, increase your spending limit, which could be hard sometimes. But you guys make it work. If you guys have a spending limit, you want to get billed often. You want to run ads often in order to increase your spending limit. This is super important because if you have, for example, a fifty dollars spending limit, my my the thing that I usually do to increase that, I don't have it. But for for the people in my coaching, if they have a spending limit, I usually tell them to get billed often and run ads. I'm not saying get billed every ten dollars, but like maybe every twenty dollars, just get billed often because Facebook will contact you eventually to raise it. One thing you guys have to keep in mind, guys, if the ROAS is high, it's often safe to spend. You might as well risk it, right? You have a ROAS of $10. You have a ROAS of 10. Why not just spend a lot of money on it? Why not risk it? You could always cut it off if you see the, you know, the go downhill, it goes south ways. You could always just turn it off again, right? But please, guys, just take the risk. This is a one time opportunity but it is every year. You, you don't need 5,000 extra dollars. If you just want to make something out of your life, just take them, unless it's like health insurance. Take some risks, guys, because it's the only way for you to level up in life. This is your chance, guys, to really break through. If you're watching the Ecomboss channel, I appreciate all of you guys. You watching right now, either you're 14 or 60, you can make this work. There's no reason to why you cannot make success in e-commerce. I believe in every single person watching my channel, appreciate all of you guys make sure you drop a like and if you can get me to 2000 subscribers or even more that will mean the world to me and you guys be seeing me in tomorrow's video this is the work of the devil <laughs> this guy